Good evening, everybody. The Kirk's Hill baseball team hits the road to face St. Charles tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Over the last four or five years, the Tigers have had teams that have just fallen short of getting to the Final Four. Why is this the team to do it? We have great pitching and our defense has been great. So when we have those combinations, uh, a lot of things can happen. And if we just keep playing our game, uh, we have a good chance to make that Final Four run. We have confidence in ourselves and we know we're going to hit the ball. We're going to score more runs than the other team and we're just going to win. It's just how it is. We're really confident in our abilities. We just go out and play ball and I think that's really what brings us over everybody. I think it all just starts with uh, a good coaching staff and a lot of leadership in the senior class that I think we've provided all year. So I think that's a big part. In action tonight, Atlanta travels to New Franklin. Are the Hornets ready to take advantage of the opportunity to go to state? I think so. That's what we've been working on for the whole year. Uh, you know, started early on in the fall and, and continue to develop and grow. You know, we've had a few setbacks here and there, but uh, I think they're ready. They want to play, and, and it's, hopefully it's a good game. The state track meet is Friday. Kirksville's Audrey Wishman is headed back to state, this time in three events. Since it's her last time at state, will it be easier or harder? It's definitely easier. You know, I have, there's nothing left after this, so I can just do my best and uh, give it my all and hopefully um, finish uh, with the best of my ability. The Tigers' Abby Rourke runs the last leg of the 4x8. When she gets the baton with the lead, what is she thinking about? I like had a feeling I was like, okay, we we're gonna move on. So it was like relieving to know that because then I just went out there and like I ran at ease kind of. I wasn't like stressed out the whole time. Macon will be sending a lot of speed to Jeff City on Friday as the girls four by two and four by eight squads have a lot of experience. Everyone just kind of knows each other. You're used to how they run because you're running with them all the time and just Getting the handoff into them is a lot easier because, like I said, you're always with them. We all have really good chemistry with each other, and we know how each other works. The Kirksville doubles team of Tyler Hansen and Christian Polovich will be headed to state Friday. They have played as a team all year. They have a chemistry that has made some things on the court second nature. We can move on the court with really not having to talk a lot and we know where each other is going to be at. So I think it helps us just have confidence in maybe tough shots or tough tough rallies. We actually have uh, one thing. If I see that he's probably going to hit a cross-court shot to avoid uh, one of our opponents, I'll actually duck so he can hit it over me. And generally, we don't even have to talk about that. It just kind of happens on its own. Final weather's up next. Stay with us.